Turning our attention now to You Decide 2008, it's Super Tuesday, and voters here in Colorado get their chance to help pick the next president. The political process, though, can create stress and strife between you and your family and friends. And a new book called Unite and Concur, local author Merle Runyon, helps us figure out how to stop the arguing and start communicating about politics. Merle joins us now. And so how did you come up with the idea for this book? Well, I just paid attention to how we're communicating or not communicating. Because democracy is supposed to be a collaborative experience. The idea is you and I talk to each other. We get our ideas from each other. We share our ideas. And instead, it's a battlefield. Mm -hmm. You know, it's divide and conquer has taken over. So I figured it's time for a new approach, and that's unite and concur. Okay, so how do we take your approach then and run with it? Well, the first thing is to have a mindset that that's what we want to do, and to keep that strongly in mind. So the first time we, st when we start our dialogue, when you, we, when you say something that I take issue with, I need to remind myself, relax, relax. This is an information, this is an opinion. I'm interested in what Mike thinks about this. Whereas the tendency, here's our knee-jerk reaction. You say something I disagree with, and I will try and shut you down uh -huh. and convince you that you're wrong and I'm right, and we won't get anywhere. And how big of an issue do you think this is now in 2008 with this presidential race, I mean, just being so close on both sides? Well, now what we are seeing more and more, people are tired of the divide and conquer. People are getting tired of, of politics as war. And, and, and just the fact that change is a theme these days of, can, of the candidates on both sides make it clear that people are ready to do things differently. We're ready to participate more, and that means we've got to listen to each other. Sure, and do you think the candidates are taking this motto to heart in this presidential race than maybe in years past? The candidates uh, are still playing their old games to a large extent because divide and conquer has always worked well for them. Sure. The focus of Unite and Concur is on individuals. It's on you and me and the neighbors, your, your, your spouse. How do you have a reasonable political conversation with people that we interact with daily? And, and we've got to do it because that's the foundation. Sure. And with the issues you brought up that, that I just need to step back, take a deep breath and listen and say that is your opinion, what else do we need to do? Well, here's an attitude or a mindset for you. Think of it as a, uh, like a first date. Even if you're talking to your spouse or your, your mother-in-law, when you're on a first date, you're, you're going to put your best foot forward. You're not going to put a false front forward, but your best foot forward. And you're trying to woo or win the other person over. Well, when we get political, for some reason, it's like all bets are off. Mm -hmm. And it's all about attacking. And behavior that we would never engage in on a first date when we want to impress someone. Right, exactly. So keep your okay. goal in mind. And the goal is influence on right. both sides. And right now, the book, Unite and Conquer, is just an e-book. It's online, but you're hoping to get it into print here soon it's an it's an ebook at yeah. unitedconcur.com okay yeah. Meryl Runyon thanks so much for coming in some great You're suggestions welcome. here on this super tuesday how to talk politics